Hello everybody, I hope this uh, recording is a lot better than the one before because we have a celebrity in the house, Ace of Emeralds. I almost couldn't believe it, I had to watch just a little bit to make sure that this was indeed the legend himself, Ace of Emeralds. You can see that Ace has been scouting with his scout over here and sure enough, Ace always does this thing where he takes the forward resources first so i i honestly couldn't believe that uh this got sent to me uh, by one of my viewers because how often is it that you have a legend in the house uh, it seems like he's gonna go for this stone for this stone right next to his opponent's base um anyway let's talk a little bit about the Sims and about the elo that this is at. So, first of all, ooh, this, ooh, not, not quite losing that vil there. Uh, Ace of Emeralds, the OG himself, is playing as the Japanese, whereas Killa in the teal is playing as the Portuguese. Now, what I really love about Ace is he always plays the same strategy no matter what. He always goes for the forward resources, whether or not it gets punished or not, doesn't care. This is just how he loves to play the game. And I really admire that in players playing the game how they like to play the game. Not what is the norm, not what is the meta, not what is standard, but just Doing what you feel and loving what you do, uh, which is also one of the reasons that I do what I do. I, uh, I love Age of Empires, uh, as you probably have noticed from some of my other uh, uploads, I say that haphazardly, uh, as you can barely call them uploads, the quality is so bad. I'm really trying to improve my quality, trying to add some thumbnails, trying to make it more interesting, just for myself, because honestly... I think most of my uploads are garbage. Uh, interesting that Killa is building a second layer on Arena, maybe not realizing that he already has a wall. I'm also kind of interested to see what Killa sees, whether or not he... Oh, oh yeah! Oh, buddy, he definitely sees Ace is on his gold in the front. Now, if I saw that... I would definitely send out some military just to punish that because uh, you can kind of assume that there is nobody behind. Oh, a nice house is needed. Uh, anyway, so as you've probably already noticed um, by the quickness of gameplay, uh, that is that these guys are top 200 easily. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just kidding. Uh, I believe Ace is uh, a bit under a thousand, uh, maybe 700, 800, and I think Killa is about the same, seven or eight hundred at this time. Meanwhile, Ace is loving life. He is collecting resources everywhere. Now, one interesting thing to mention is that Portuguese actually do benefit from Victoria so technically Teal never has to run out of resources so it'll be interesting to see if uh, Ace of Emerald's strategy holds up here uh, meanwhile both are going for a very boomy approach. Uh, Ace, of course, not taking his main gold, not taking his main stone, not taking his secondary gold in his base, but instead walking these guys... I don't even know where he's walking these guys, to be quite frank with you. Is he going to this stone over here? I'm not too sure. Oh, he's going to this gold. Okay. Anyway, yeah, let's see. How passive Blue's Wings play this. Once again, he can see. He can see this gold being mine. Like, he knows this is going on. He spotted a 
mining camp over here. But I guess at this elo, it's hard enough just to keep your economy uh, running. Uh, Light Blue has 31 villagers, whereas Ace of Emerald only has 28. So Light Blue definitely in a better position, already up to feudal. And Asia says tons and tons of stone and gold in the bank, which is absolutely hilarious. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Killa also has a lot of gold in the bank, but a much more reasonable amount of stone, even though he still has four stone miners. Looks like just a straight up boom from him. Actually, once the scout gets up to feudal age, he could actually try and snipe some of these villagers. I wonder if he'll go for that. I'm also really curious what he can see at this time. So he can see Ace of Emeralds is on this gold, on this stone, on this gold. He knows that he's on this stone. And now he's in feudal age. Let's see if he goes for something aggressive or for something a little bit more passive, which I think a lot of uh, players at this elo tend to do. Also, that back wood is quite far away from... <laughs> Uh, his base. Oh, there comes the blacksmith and the market looks like a straight fast castle. Meanwhile, Ace of Emeralds has just had four villagers on gold here chilling. I, I, I still just can't get over that. The actual legend uh, had a game sent into me, which is just great. Uh, to see and really enjoyable for me he is an archery range I wonder if he's gonna finally finally fletching coming in finally punish this over here go straight to castle that's a good move but is he going to produce some archers? We'd really love to see him produce some archers from this archer range. He knows the villagers are there. I wouldn't even send the archers out right away. I would just keep four archers in that archery range. The villagers are going forward. Or are they just going to go and vilfight pace? Right, they're going somewhere. I don't know quite where they're going, but they're going. They're going places. Meanwhile, Ace is still in Dark Age. He, he, he casually just has a villager uh, producing from his town center. He's not too concerned about uh, going up or anything like that. Build the vill first. Get up to 40 pop before going to feudal. Meanwhile, Light Blue, he's already in Castle. He's starting to take out some of these villagers. But, of course, Ace doesn't care. Ace is a legend. He's just going to retreat these to another uh, pile. Oh, he splits them up. Micro God. I would definitely engage with that scout, uh, especially since it is a feudal age. Out. Oh, he just, oh my god, he just looped right back around. He's like, no, I'm back. This is, this is my gold. I don't know what you're talking about. This is, this is my gold. Uh, meanwhile, Light Blue has made it to Castle Agent. Oh my goodness. He says, hello, you're still in Dark Age? Well, Ace, here's a castle on your f -f 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 face. Wow, uh, this game is way more entertaining than I was ever expecting. Uh, it does seem like he cleared up this gold mining over here. Ace finally feudal. Oh, is he going to let in the archers? Oh, no. That's disastrous. I don't know why he would let in those archers. Oh, no. Those archers can 
harass him until he's blue in the face. Although at this elo, he could just walk into the TC, but light blue, nice recovery. It's looking bad for your boy um, Ace over here. Castle on his face. That's not going up anytime soon. And potentially, like I mentioned before, Portuguese can have infinite resources just like uh, Ace of Emeralds, mining all this gold and stone out there even longer than that because he has those Vittorias and uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the counter to Ace's strat. Let's see if Ace can bring it back though. He is uh, down in score a bit. And these two archers are doing work. I don't know why Light Blue didn't get crossbow a little bit sooner, but uh, <laughs> he's just like, okay, well, you're, you're in my base. I guess I'm just going to take some wood uh, in the back of my base behind a second layer of wall. I wonder if he's going to uh, take some wood over here as well. And a blacksmith. This blacksmith was deleted. Light Blue not building a whole... Oh, created a wall, though. I was gonna say did not put a whole lot of pressure on each so far, even though Killa was through already with two archers. I think he's uh, much more concerned with microing TC going up over here. And looks like Aces run to this corner to get a whole bunch of wood. This forward push is not really achieving very much other than killing this lumber camp. He's still just taking stone over here. He's chilling. Getting his fletching upgrade now. And <laughs> Killer's like, well, I see you tried to take my gold over here. Well, I can I can just take your safe gold over here. Ah, uh, it does look like we're going for some watchtower defense. I'm pretty sure. Yep, Killer can see that, and he is going to deny that for the time being. Murder holes, murder holes coming in. He does not want this castle to be knocked down by villagers, I suppose. So he's getting murder holes. Uh, I do have my idle villager mod still on. I, I, I love seeing that myself. Uh, I don't know if you guys mind uh, people were complaining about HP because that's how you play the game. Well, sorry, I want to see how much HP my units have. I don't want to send in uh, six crossbows to their death. Oh my gosh. The slow creep forward. This tower is hardly doing anything. You should have just built this tower right away. Uh, let's see if he can see that. He can see that. Uh, so that's interesting. But going for that tower defense, that tower does get cancelled, I'm pretty sure. He's still in feudal, and he's just going to retreat. He's like, yeah, I'm in castle. You're in feudal. There is no way you're winning this ace. And the skirms that you sent out to get me, yeah, they're all dead. Meanwhile, Ace has 2k gold in the bank and 2k stone in the bank, which is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And that's what I was talking about. Getting those kills with that scout, um, that was definitely a nice snipe over there. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh man, that's that's great. Oh Ace, you're a legend, my friend, a legend. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, when I heard I had a, an Ace of Emeralds game on my hands, I was so excited. I was like, ah, it's, it's, it's the legend. 
It's my boy. But I, I couldn't have hoped for a, a, a better game than the game I'm seeing right now. I just really hope that this is uh, a current game so that it doesn't uh, stop halfway through. But so far so good. We're already late castle age. And Killa, he's imp. He, he could end AIDS right now. I don't care how much you have in the bank. If somebody's Imperial and you're still feudal, you should be roasted. You should be absolutely roasted. Although, that being said, Ace did finally make it up to... Oh my god! <laughs> it mattered so little! <laughs> it mattered so little! The killer just showed up with all of his crossbows and was like, No! You don't! You don't fall in my scout! I kill, and now my scout is free. I'm choosing to be here at this point. I'm choosing to be here. And yep, Killa is Imperial, and honestly, he should just be making trips and tripping this down. He has organ guns going on, and I don't see any way that Ace is coming back. I mean, I've definitely been wrong before, but there is no way... I mean, 35,000 gold in the bank. The score difference is a thousand, and honestly, I, I don't see Trebs yet. You would think if Killa just made one or two Trebs, it would be game over right here, right now. I mean, there's only one town center. That town center could have gone down before. Castle Ace was even complete. University right away. Elite Skirm. And honestly, like, Ace could go Imperial at this point. But now uh, Kill is thinking, okay, let's, let's, let's just end this. Let's just end this. We got nine organ guns. Ah, but see those towers? He's scared. And the longer this goes on, the, the more in the advantage of Ace it is, because he's going to be catching up with technologies. Now the score difference all of a sudden only 700. Look at him getting every single tech from the university. He's like, university, everything. That's what we need. Guard tower, building crane, more HP, fortified wall. Just everything. Just get everything. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, this could be so bad for Killer. This could bring him right back into this game. Oh, oh, he sees it. Oh, he wants it. <laughs> get those resources but he's in my nail on the stone already oh my gosh that's priceless I don't think Ace even knows that there's I mean I guess he sees the woods being chopped I see fog of war uh, he has no idea that he's about to wreck a whole bunch of villagers uh, ooh, there are the trebs. That's what I was talking about. But now, all of a sudden, he has to go up against Guard Tower. And one, two, three, four, f four. Wow, quick reaction. That was pretty slick. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty quick reactions for this elo. Uh, this game is getting quite wild. Getting the relic, so that's another trickle of resources for a uh, killer if this game does go super long and it is looking like it's going to go quite long at this point that being said like i don't see him stopping this push i mean there are 14 organ guns here and he's not even imp 
Also, I don't see any military. Is it is it time? Is it time for the main goal? And he still has free k gold. Nope. Time to farm safe in the back. Wonder if he can. Is, oh, another, no! No! <laughs> Ballistics was clutch. I'm happy we saw the end of those two villagers there. Oh man. Oh man. That is hilarious. Still, the score differential only 700. I wonder what military uh, Ace of Emeralds is going to go for uh, once he does decide to make military heavy plow coming in. I mean, this push is just so fortified wall. Yep, that fortified wall really helped you out. Um, but that's why you gotta love Ace because he doesn't care. He just wants all the upgrades. Forging, or a Blast Furnace, I should say. The second attack upgrade. Very interesting. Um, meanwhile, this, this push should just wreck at this point. Should absolutely destroy. He should not be able to farm here anymore. And he should be building TCs somewhere, to be honest with you. I don't really see... Oh! Oh! <laughs> He came back. He came back just to wall that scout again. He walled that scout in again. On oh, there we go. Samurai and a town center right up on the front. Oh my god. And a wolf. There's a lot going on, but oh my god, that is priceless. This is why Ace is a legend in my opinion. And now, now Ace is like, uh oh, I'm a, I'm about to lose my entire base. Might as well quickly try and take as much stone and as much gold as possible. Oh my god, that's hilarious. One villager casually building this TC over here. Is he building any TCs in the back over here? Building a ton of houses, has a ton of resources in the bank, but man, there's no stopping this. I wonder if this forward sneak is going to achieve anything because if these samurai could get in. That could be something at least. And I, I don't know, but this is just hilarious to me that Killa is completely walled in by Ace of Emeralds. He, he's not even put his scout on Auto Scout. He, he got trapped twice. He decided to stay in that little trap, and Ace of Emeralds just came back and trapped him again. That is glorious. Yeah, everything is getting destroyed. There's no need to destroy all of these farms. Uh, definitely smart to keep building these guard towers just to delay as much as possible. Uh, tons of houses over here. And oh, those samurai are in. And he did build a watchtower to defend that. But how much is that going to do? Plus two, plus one. Not the greatest upgrades. Is going to Imperial. Is he going to Imperial on this TC? Yeah, good choice. I don't see any other TCs for Ace, to be honest with you. And he's still down a lot. Like, he's down a lot. Like, yeah, okay. Oh, my goodness. Why? Why would you stop pushing? Oh, man. I think he was scared about these uh, Samurai. And, yeah, this is what I was talking about before. Victoria's. Victoria's in the back. And Oh, no. Don't. Oh, <laughs> that was close. That was close. Elite organ guns. Uh, villagers are kind of going down, but yeah, these are so slow. So slow. Is there a TC over here at least? No, no, t no additional TCs. For Ace of Emeralds, 52 pop against 106. He has almost double the population. There should be no way that Ace comes back. I've said that like four times, yet Ace is still playing on. I, I, I don't even know. It, it looks like the Samurai just got cleared up without any effort whatsoever. Um... Ace is still just getting 
effects and 90% of the way to feudal for Ace of Emeralds. I, I just don't see it happening. I don't see him coming back. There's just... Okay, Town Center over here. Now, that's probably a smart play. That probably should have happened a while ago, considering... Uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at the resources, it looks great for Ace. Even though the food is kind of abysmal. That castle goes down. Building bills all over the place. Ah, he realizes! He realizes! He's like, you aced me. Oh my goodness. I wonder if he's I wonder if he's gonna send all these guys forward to uh, set his scout free once more. And yeah, these trebs are, are doing work over here. I definitely need to send some samurais to stop this um, push over here. And these gold miners are just like, ah, yeah, there's still a pile over there. I know your scout's right next to us, but ah, whatever. It's fine. I'm in it for the long game. I'm not too concerned about dying, being at 60 pop, booming up on one TC. Casual play. Oh man, there go there. <laughs> the villagers that were just tasked to mine that gold. It's a light cav now. I don't see any more units for Killa that it would make sense to invest into light cav, but sure enough, he is invested into light cav. There's bombard cannons everywhere. Uh, it did look like samurai were able to push this back for now but oh man once these uh once this one individual light cab comes in that has been trapped twice oh ace is going to be in some serious problems the light cab's just chilling we got arrow slits researched to be honest with you, I don't even know what arrow slits does. Uh, let me see if I can get the tech tree up here. Arrow slits. Assuming that's a uh, university tech. Increases the attack of towers and dungeons. Interesting. So that's useful as he has all one tower. I love that uh, at this elo, people get upgrades just for the sake of getting upgrades. Like, I'm, I'm getting that like I have a light cab. I have a, I have a scout. He's, he deserves an upgrade. And this, this one's been alive since the very beginning. I mean, he's been in jail twice. Uh, he's broken free twice by means of organ guns and all that jazz. And yeah. Oh no, free samurai? I don't think that's gonna cut it, Ace. I think you're roasty toasty. Uh, these guys still have been taking wood, but I just don't see it happening. There, there's no way the GG should be called right now. Um, yeah, five thousand golden bank with nothing in the queue. Nothing is happening. For Ace of Emeralds. I mean, his glorious moment was definitely walling in that scout. And oh no! Oh! That's nice, at least. Oh, and the Bombard Cannons, those are so. Oh my gosh! Those are really expensive units. You definitely don't want to have those go down. Plus three, plus one. Yeah, that castle looks like it is going down. Is he going to go for Siege Onager? Mangonels. Mangonel Defense. Okay. I wonder if he has them on sand ground. Because that could be... That could be something. Come on. Nope, not quite. Not quite. Doesn't have another one. Q. Even though Ace of Emeralds can easily afford that. And looking bad. I'm not going to... Oh, now you queue up 8 Samurai. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
You do you, man. You do you. One down, two down. Oh, that castle at the very end doing some work. It's 3,000 stone in the bank. He should be making so many more castles. And now he's pop capped. He's pop capped. Oh, that's unfortunate. And fortified wall. Got four mangonels. Only mangonels. Not onagers. Not siege onager. Just mangonels. And there comes onager. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ace. I see you. I see you. We're gonna get some big, uh, some big shots here, and make. <laughs> oh my God! I need houses. Make them everywhere. And actually, at this point, Teal might almost be able to see. Oof. Yeah, I think once that house is built, maybe he'll be able to see. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the perfect counter for the onagers. Oh, buddy. Oof. Yeah, this <laughs> I was so excited about those onagers too, and they did absolutely nothing. And you know, Teal's resources—they're not—they're not bad either. Okay, now we're going into. Now we're going into. Barracks is. I feel like this should have happened a while earlier. There is a onager. Is that onager going to do some damage? Onager and halberdier could honestly be sick. Ooh, one shot. Not quite enough to do anything. But these are filled. I don't know why Killer is not. Bringing his cavalier next to his trebuchets, but that's the choice he's making. This scout has been alive since the very beginning. I think he needs a name, and I think I'm deciding on it being Edward. Yep, you're Edward now. Oh, here come... The cab, but little does Killa know that Ace of Emerald is prepared. He has a much smaller amount of <laughs> pikemen in comparison to. Oh man, is going to become Halberdier? Oh, the work. Does kill both those trebs. And wow, those helps. Sorry, those pikemen doing work. Halberdier now coming in. And more siege workshops are being built. It can be quite tricky to stop Halberdier and Onager. And he can make these four. Let's see. How much uh, resources do we have there? Ace? Ooh, not for days. Definitely not. Oh, oh, yikes! Ooh, that was painful to watch. Here comes the ball. But this uh, keep defense. We gotta keep this going. Our strategy is to live to the very end. But once again, Victorias, 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 Victorias. Oh, I can range it. Oh, no. Is he going to notice? Okay, two down. 27 of these guys left. I'm surprised Ace is not building castles. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's pushing on the side now, although... 
if Ace is smart, yeah, if he gets this up, that should deny that castle. It's pressing. Ace is like totally backed up in the corner. This is this is epic. I wonder. I really wonder if Ace can get back. Oh, he's just gonna click it through. No way. No way. You're not getting that up. Yep. Free dead bills, and one denied castle. Meanwhile, Ace is building. He still has tons and tons of gold. And another keep, but that keep is not really doing anything. It's going to just get denied by these Bombard Cannons. Ace has to push out. Yep, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, does he not realize that there's a keep there? Ooh, that would be bad. Those are so expensive. Okay, he does realize. Good. My goodness. Ace of Emeralds is like the slowest build out ever. Like, I, I don't even need to wait to finish that. I'm, I'm slowly pushing back into my base. He's completely trapped in this back corner and this corner over here. There's no villagers anywhere else. He lost these bills to the crossbowmen. There's nothing over here anymore. It's it's do or oh my goodness, that was a huge shot right there. I can't believe he just hit that shot. That was amazing. That was about a boom, if I've ever seen it. And at this point. Teal's on the back foot. He's getting pushed back. Is this doable for Ace of Emeralds? Oh, man. There's nothing in the queue for Killa. There's still tons of helps. All of Teal's forward units got denied. I, I'm starting to believe... I can't believe I'm saying this, but I am starting to believe in Ace of Emeralds. Although he really needs a castle to trip this down. And oh, those are some dead villagers. I mean, oh, uh, there we go. There we go. And <laughs> he's back on his original gold pile. That is wonderful. Let's see. Is uh, Edward still there? Yeah, Edward's chilling. He's been in prison twice, that bad king Edward. But he's out. He's looking for over all of his armies. But I wonder for how long Edward will be safe there. There's a lot of Albadir over here. And a bunch of onagers. Wonder if Ace can. He's still just booming from one TC, 81 pop. Let's see what Killer's pop is at. 117. Look at that Q, disgusting Q. Oh my goodness. There's also so many resources, much more than Ace of Emeralds. I don't think Ace realizes how many resources um, the Portuguese player has here. Like that's a lot of resources. Okay, getting the elite tech. We're gonna see more samurai at some point. More golds being taken, but how many Victorias are there now in the back? One, two Victorias. So a lot of that population that I talked about before is technically dead pop. Looks like uh, Killa's economy is still pretty efficient. And this also looks quite nice from Ace of Emeralds. Ooh, Bombard Cannon's difficult for trips to deal with, for sure. I wonder if Teal can snipe those. <sighs> Don't want to lose those onagers for free. That's expensive. Brought the Talbadir out over here. Interesting. Oh, man. He might get this castle. And is keeping his trip safe with onagers. Interesting. It does look like that's going to go down. 
And now another attack over here. Uh, really hope he sees those archers. Okay, he does see those archers. That is good. Oof. Uh, that's rough to see. And he really should be using the second trap. Okay, and but now the bomber cannon is that in range of the castle? Yes, it is in range of the castle. Will this castle go down? I mean, I know we have some albedeers over here, but that's not really important. I think whether or not this castle goes down from oh losing organ guns as well and lost that bombard cannon oh definitely need some repairs over here 12 samurai in the queue protect the, oh it's gonna go down it's gonna go oh no edward edward oh what a way to go is this castle going to go down now? It should. Wow. I can't believe Edward died. After all of that. Now once again, Ace of Emeralds needs a castle. He's in a corner. He can't go anywhere. I mean, yeah, he has all these help with you. Great, you're destroying houses. Maybe he's trying to pop cap. <laughs> Kill us so that he <laughs> can't build any more Vittorias. But if we're looking at the resources, Killa is like so far. Oh. Oh. I say that, but he's been building a lot of bombard cannons. A lot, a lot of bombard cannons. So he actually is almost out of resources. That is very, very interesting. Uh, and another castle in the back. Okay. Ace is not done yet. Five on gold, but that's not a lot. Uh, we do have that trickle of Vittorius coming in. Oh, but now... Building a watchtower over here. That's a good play, I would say. Keep your eco safe. Uh, and repairing that. Although it does look like it is going down even still. I wonder if you can just walk by over there. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna end very poorly for Ace eventually. Yeah, I think he has to give up on this now. I feel like can he just walk through here? Maybe not. Uh, regardless, does not look like he's going to get in with twelve pointy boys. Even two monks over here could do some conversions if uh, Killer realizes that. And yeah, they're slowly going down. Ten left. And it's fully repaired. Don't think he's going to be able to get in over there. And slowly pushing. And ooh, that castle foundation. Uh, I don't know if that got denied or deleted. But that is bad for sure. Treb's coming out once more. And these towers, they're they're annoying. They're definitely annoying. The score is quite close at this point. Petards! Petards! Killa has had enough. He is making petards. Oh my. Oh my. I don't think petards is the play. Once again, there is no way that Ace of Emeralds should be coming back in this game, but he is. Surprisingly, he is. Uh, the score was a, a, a bigger differential than it is right now. It's, it's only a difference of about 900 points in score. And that castle is just going to get denied. No more stone for Killa and villagers just getting thrown away. Petards, great, cool. You got you got two petards, eh? Oh, bombard cannons are getting roasted. Yeah, it does look like this got completely uh, shut down and Oof, two down. Samurai. Another one down. J 
just samurai in the queue. Uh, but look at this. Three trebuchets. He wants his gold back. Well, this has been an extraordinarily long game, but I really am enjoying this. Can you hold? Oh no! These were two of the original castles. A lot of shots from these keeps. Japanese really good with those towers. And now an arbalisk switch. But no gold remaining. Just that trickle. Just that trickle from the Vittorias. Don't know if that's quite enough. Meanwhile, Ace of Emeralds. He's taking his gold back. He's taking his safe golds. These are my golds. I don't know why he's destroying these trees over here, but sure. And I can't believe I'm saying this, but Ace of Emeralds is taking the score lead. That is wild. Two trips to life, but no castles anymore for Killa. The prison from Edward. May he rest in peace. Still there. Rest in pepperonis. I think I... I hate doing this, but I think I am going to. Oh, 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 you dog, you. Oh, Ace of Emeralds, you absolute god. No way. I was going to say, I, I want to fast forward it just a bit, but I, I can't miss out on this juicy, juicy action. Uh, where are all these arbs? Ooh, oh, I'm just, I'm just waiting for one shot, one shot. I, th there's no way. Oh my! So many ranges, but I feel like not enough gold. That trickle from those Victorias is so slow. And once that, oh, it does have a little bit of gold here in the front, so that he denied Ace of Emeralds of. But I think after that, all the gold has been mined. Oh, box formation, but see ya. <laughs> the cheeky snipe. And now, now it could be Arbalisk's time to shine. And that being said, there are a lot of samurai back here. But here come the Arabs. Arabs and bombards. Oh. Ace. Why you do this to me? Come all the way back. Just to throw the game like this. Why? Why? I don't know if he's realized or not, but Japanese helps. They're no joke. They definitely put out a punch. Oh, oh the friendly. <laughs> the friendly fire there. Oh, my God. I was just about to say, I wonder if there's friendly fire on bombard cannons. So if you were wondering if there's friendly fire on bombard cannons, the answer is yes. There is friendly fire on bombard cannons. Alright, let's fast forward this just a little bit. See what happens. Ooh. No, not quite an engage yet. I love how Ace is just slowly and methodically pushing 
back out of his base. He's in no rush. He has the gold. Even though it's Portuguese. Portuguese could be building tons of Vitoria. Uh, there's only two Vitoria for Portuguese. But I feel like this would be a good counter. Trebs against Trebs. Everything's coming out. More watchtowers are being built. Oh, the Bombard Cannons. Those are going to be doing work. But here come the samurai, the keeps are doing work as well. Oh, those bomber cans do look like they are going to go down. But they are being chased. Oh, this is close. Oh, and the arms come in just to shred the samurai. Samurai beastly unit. Especially if they can get in close. But it does look like this ball of samurai is going to get cleared up. There's some more samurai over here. Another keep going up. Oh my. I don't know who actually came ahead in that fight. I think Ace of Emeralds, but I'm not sure. He only has nine samurai, but this is going to be doing work. And here he has another ten coming in. Is that enough? I don't know. Just a constant stream of samurai. It does look like his production is a lot better. And he also has Halberdier coming in. Whereas Killer's Q is empty. Score is still about even. I'm trying to do something here. But these production buildings are going to get denied. We do have samurai shredding things. Trebuchets are destroying. How do you... I don't know. How do you push back now? I think, I think this is Ace's game all of a sudden. Before I was like, there's no way. All, all Tio has to do... He was in... Imperial Age, when Ace of Emeralds was in feudal still, going to castle. That's insane. I don't know how this game has come back to this, but it has. And I don't know what to say. Once these arcs get cleared up, uh, let's see how the resources are. Yeah, they're not great. Oh, good engage from Ace of Emeralds. Can he? Yep, there's towers doing work, and oh my gosh, those are a lot of dead arbs and dead bombard cannons. You can build more arbs all you want, buddy, but this is Ace's game to lose at this point. My gosh, I can't believe. The oh, and now he's into the eco as well. Raiding with pointy boys. Oh, calling the bell. Never good when you're calling the bell. You gonna get that monk? Oh, that monk is dead. Yeah, I would not be surprised if the GG is called soon. Doesn't seem like Teal has much going on for him at this point. Killer really put up a good fight in the beginning. It looked like he was way ahead, but he, he just didn't he didn't finish it out. He allowed Ace to sit in a corner and he allowed him to get Onager and Halb, and it seems like that was enough. And indeed the GG is called. Wow, what a game. That was wild. I don't think after this TC, yeah. There was no additional TC, 89 pop. I mean, wild stuff. I, I can't believe Ace of Emeralds came back. Let's take a little bit of a look at the statistics. Yeah, it was about, about even in kills. Uh, pretty much the same. Um, way more buildings raised by Killer. You had those Bombard Cannons. Those Bombard Cannons were doing work, but didn't do enough with his army. Definitely could have produce a lot more army earlier on 
And in terms of gold, it didn't look like Ace's strategy worked. Uh, Killa ended up with more gold. He took those golds that Ace had in front of his base and never looked back. But it wasn't quite enough. Stone, way more. All those towers. Oh my gosh, all those towers. So, so many towers. Um, society, 4 and 4, villager high for Ace of Emeralds. Definitely could have seen a little bit more of a boom from Killa, but... Overall, yeah, look at that game. He was in Imp when Emerald was still in Feudal. That's crazy. I mean, he was Castle when Emerald was Dark Age. He could have closed it out right there, right then, but he waited. He waited, he waited, he waited. There's so long that Ace of Emerald doesn't have any military once, however. And with that... I'm going to end this replay and say thank you very much. I really appreciate all of your support. I appreciate you sending in these videos. And wow, this has been a game and a half for sure.